Hey, what's going on class? Mr. Kozner here back again. New video. Um, just want to give you guys some information on what's going to happen tomorrow, August 13th. So let me share my screen. Go ahead and present this. So tomorrow is our first day of school. It's been such a long time and I'm so excited as you'll see <clears throat> throughout this presentation. But um, welcome to seventh grade math. Again, that's my picture on the left here. So um, you can find more information about me too in the um, teacher profile, which is on our website. This is math class. So we got some mathematical equations down here. We're going to talk a little bit about um, tomorrow's class. Here we go. Synchronous versus asynchronous distance learning. So for me, I think of it these two ways. Synchronous learning is the same time okay that means we'll be logging on at the same time asynchronous that can be done at any time okay so that's when i'll post stuff i'll talk about those on this next slide synchronous learning so these will be the first 15 minutes of each class period the daily lessons this is where i'll introduce myself we'll go over rules and procedures um go over the syllabus these first couple days we're gonna do that on Google Meet, okay? So this is a platform I actually prefer to Zoom. If Zoom, um, if Google Meet doesn't end up working out, um, we can always transition to Zoom, but I wanna start the year with Google Meet and see how we do it. <clears throat> now, where is Google Meet? Okay, here is an example, a screenshot directly from one of our classes. This is uh, period three. You can see their class code, but right underneath it is a Meet link, okay? So when I tell you at the very end of this presentation what time you need to log on, this is all you gotta do is go and click this button right here where that big red arrow is pointing, okay? Easy peasy. So asynchronous learning is all the other stuff that you can do at any time. So these are when I'll post assignments to Google Classroom. You'll be working in Khan Academy and Freckle. The videos I post, those are required. You need to watch those, especially when we get into more lessons about how to actually accomplish um, mathematical standards. The homework, like you've seen with the Pokemon week one, that is asynchronous. You can do it anytime. Last year when we went to digital learning, I had students turning in assignments at 4 a.m. That's totally fine as long as you get it in by the deadline. I don't know if your parents like you being up at 4 a.m., but if that's when you work best, I want you to get your work done. You can do it at any time. Additionally, we'll have projects and then gallery walks um, and assignments that'll all be online so here's some pictures that you guys know i've themed the first five weeks of homework on pokemon we have google classroom here that's what you'll be doing this, this is all asynchronous thing the projects you'll be doing um knowledge is power our classroom the videos i post okay so those are required you need to watch those and make sure you understand all the content in there the last thing here is khan academy that's asynchronous okay so when we are in video conferencing for synchronous learning, that will be tomorrow, okay? So you guys need to know that. It's our virtual classroom. I, I expect you to treat it with respect and aloha. You guys have never had me as your teacher yet, um, but I'm, I'm pretty tough, especially when it comes to our classroom, especially when you walk through that door, it's called tough love and you're bringing your ancestors with you. And I expect you to do that in a digital environment as well. So we have some rules, we have some norms that I'm gonna build and we'll go over these again. One person talking at a time, that's very straightforward. That's just to ease, that's, that goes in our classroom, that goes online. Um, that's just to ease the form of communication so we can respect each other. Don't yuck my yum, that's something if I say like, oh, I really like Pokemon. And then you chime in with like, oh, Pokemon stinks. Okay, that's your opinion, but you don't need to share that, okay? Attire must be school worthy, okay? So I'm wearing my St. Louis polo. This is an appropriate t-shirt, appropriate polo for a classroom, especially on Zoom. Some of the other teachers are gonna be really strict. You're gonna have to wear your uniforms online. I don't know if I'm gonna be that strict, but I do want you to make sure you're wearing something that's school worthy, okay? Something that is gonna make your family proud. Don't show up to a Zoom session or a Google Meet session in your board shorts without a t-shirt. Okay, your St. Louis gentlemen act like it. So this one, the next one for what is said here stays here. That's if somebody shares something confidential, shares something that, you know, is going on in their life that you don't need to go and tell everybody else that, oh, well, Johnny said his favorite color is purple and oh, da, da, da. no, no, 
you don't need that. This is our classroom. We need to respect other people's uh, opinion. Appropriate classroom behavior is expected. That's I should, maybe that should be number one. You need to act like you are in a classroom. Come prepared. Be respectful. Be responsible. Be nice and do all the right things. You'll be fine. So we have part two here. I want you guys to make sure your video is on so I can see you. Um, if you have to run to the bathroom real quick, I totally understand turning the video off, but um, we can get a lot more social cues and I can understand if you're getting it, if you're understanding what I'm saying with head nods and, and all that a little bit better when your video is on. You need to log in your meeting from a distraction free, quiet environment. I know that's sometimes tough, but please try to avoid having all your dogs running in the background and your sister behind you talking on the phone and all that, okay? So please just be in a place you're ready to learn. Please keep your audio on mute until I want you to speak, okay? So this will help you limit background noise so everyone will be on mute. If you would like to speak or answer a question, raise your hand, you can just give me one of these and I will call on you. If you would like to use the chat box, remember it is public and a record of it chat is kept in archive. So please do not be messaging each other saying, oh, Mr. Klausner is so boring, or did you get the answer for number 10? Please, please know that I can see the chat box and you need to be respectful when you're in there. Um, really, it comes down to just being ready, being respectful and kind, okay? Oh, and have a paper and pen and or pencil ready to take notes. I always come to my meeting with my notebook um, and that's just a really good habit to build. So when are we doing this and what's it gonna look like? So the next two days, the 13th and the 14th of August, we are gonna do a special A schedule, which you can see on our website, on our homepage. Period one starts at 7.40 a.m. and ends at 8.05. And that makes period two start at 8.10 to 8.35. Okay, we'll just be doing 15 minutes in there out of that 25 minutes. <clears throat> next section, period three, 8.40 to 9.05. Next one, 9.10 to 9.45. <clears throat> Next one, period five, 9.40 to 10.05. Period six, 10.10 goes until 11.35. That's when there would be that lunch period in there. So that's an extended period. Oh, however, we're only doing those first 15 minutes and then you'll have time to work on all your asynchronous work. Period seven, you guys have a little bit of a delay because we won't start until 11.40, we'll go till 12.05. And that's the day. If you need this information, it'll all be up online. I'm gonna try to keep this video super short, try to keep them under five minutes because I know it's tough, but I'm so excited. Boom, I'm so excited. Cannot wait to see, there's me, Michael Scott, so excited. My right hand man, Dwight, also so excited. I cannot wait to meet you all. I cannot wait to chat with you, learn more about you, and also get you guys so far advanced in your math skills beyond where you can even imagine, okay? So I'm gonna stop and share, I'm gonna end the video. I'll see you all tomorrow morning.